This question deals with a 59-year-old woman with metastatic renal cell carcinoma and is receiving cyclophosphamide, paclitaxel, and interleukin-2. Which of the following is the reason for this, for including IL-2 in the regimen? Now, IL-2, what does it do? What is the function of IL-2? IL-2 is going to increase both helper and cytotoxic T cells. It stimulates the growth of both cytotoxic and helper T cells. That is the main function of IL-2. But other than that, IL-2 kind of recruits everyone. It's very powerful. It recruits everyone. So that is the main function of IL-2. So that's how it attacks the cancer. Now the question is saying, which of the following is the reason for including IL-2 in the regimen? Why are we using IL-2? We're using to treat metastatic renal carcinoma. So we want to attract cytotoxic T lymphocytes. We want to attract helper T lymphocytes. We want to create as much immune response as possible. That would be the main function of IL-2. Now let's look at the option. A says decreasing bone marrow suppression. That has nothing to do with IL-2. Decreasing the likelihood of hemorrhagic cystitis, irrelevant. Decreasing the likelihood of peripheral neuropathy, irrelevant. Decreasing nausea and vomiting, absolutely irre irrelevant. In fact, this is a straight shooter. It's going to be choice E, stimulates T lymphocytes.